decide which one of them you liked the least, they're going to leave. The other three have to replace that person as they do the scene over again, over and over, until there's only one person left. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so uh, for this scene, let's get a suggestion of um, your... Uh, an exotic location that you've been before. Oakland. 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 <laughs> Gotta be Oakland. Good to be back here where I started my rap career. <laughs> oh. And you know what? After all these years, I still can't touch it. Oh, oh where's, where, where's my dear mother? I just, it's been, it's been so long. Hi, son. Hello. <laughs> Give your mother a hug. Oh, oh, goodness. How have you been? Um, well, uh, it was it was good. It yeah, you know, well, back around like ninety one. Right? Yeah. Uh, since okay. then, uh, well, last father, fifteen years or so. Your father and I yeah. were kind of upset that you know you got so big and then you never came home again. That was a that was in a mansion up at the top of the hill. You yeah. Know, and did you call? Home. Did you call? Did you invite us for over the Thanksgiving? No. It was a big house. I couldn't find the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no. We're having a moment here. I'm reuniting with my son. It'll be quick. I don't. I know this is Oakland, okay? And that's how you do it in these parts. But I haven't. Hey, 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 hey! Please, what? mom, don't, don't hurt him. Please. Big brother. Hey. Yes. Nice to see you're home again. Hey, hey. For, you remember me? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, no, I do. What's my name? Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. Kind of vanilla ice. Heart. Vanilla ice. <laughs> Okay, so Wait. clap according to how much okay. you like someone <laughs> as I place my hand over their head and then we're gonna eliminate one of them. Okay, ready? So step forward so I can go behind you rather than stepping in front of you. Okay, no! Okay. 
Oh my god, can I still have your autograph? Please, I just need I just need it. Please, I've been a fan of yours for like ever. Dude, brother, big brother, where you been, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, uh, remember I've me? Been, I've been right, yes, of course I do. You're my brother, yes, yes. that's all you said. And, and what's my name? Um, uh, just say my name. Just, say it. I'm trying. Uh, you've got it on the tip of your toe. Exactly. Got no, it. It's about to be in the air, said. <laughs> Vanilla Ice. You're the ice! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. advice shows and you're gonna have three panelists and a host and you guys the audience are going to ask real advice questions that you would like advice on and they're going to give you advice on said questions so uh, without further ado mr. host take it away yeah. Anthropological uh, excursion, and uh, also we're here to answer your questions as well. Amazing. So, um, you know, without further ado, with, uh, with, uh, we, we got our good advice today. Uh, uh, what's your name? Could you, could you tell me for me? My name is Dr. Jack Richards. I'm a toad biologist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what, and, and, and young man, who, 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 who are you here? My name is Karen Lorenzo, and I am author of Archaeological. Um, Exploits. <laughs> <laughs> very familiar with that. Very Thank you. Very Thank you. One. Or, and, and sir, could you please My us? name is Roy Batty. I am a Nexus 6 android built by the Tyrell Corporation. I have come to Earth to extend my four year lifespan and kill my creator. <laughs> Wow, that's new. <laughs> no, could, could we please get a, get some some sort of question? Yeah, any any sort of question uh, from the crowd? Anyone? Uh, any? What? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the best way to steal a final exam for a teacher? Steal a final uh, steal a final exam. You you could study too, but <laughs> could, you, could you please? Uh, what do you got to tell the young man, huh? <laughs> the South African yellow belly fire toad. Survives by memorizing, memorizing its enemy's face exactly and spraying poison into its eyes. <laughs> this memorization is a key adaptation. I would suggest that rather than steal, you study <laughs> and spray poison metaphorically into your opponent tests. Eyes. <laughs> that, that's good shit. Right there. All right. <laughs> I, I would have to disagree. Um, as the author of archaeological dot 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 exploits, <laughs> subtitle <laughs> dig it. I think that stealing tests is 
wrong. In fact, you should use my method, which is um, just roofing your teacher and stealing it. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> and, and, and Mr. Mr. Batty. Uh, Mr. Uh, Batty, yes. Uh, could you please, uh, how would you steal well, test? I'm gauging your problem in the context of my own life. And with a four-year lifespan, I don't have much time for studying and tests. So, I would recommend not showing up. There are plenty of other ways to, to occupy your time, as James Dean said. Live as if you'll die today. Die as if you'll live in four years when your life's done. <laughs> so, so, I would recommend occupying your time with alcohol and rape. <laughs> if that fails, you can always just gouge out your professor's eyes. And then rape them. Rape the eye holes. Yeah. Why not? But could you get another question? Young, yeah, young man. Uh, growing a mustache and my chances of women. Growing a mustache and You know, I think it's a, I'll let them answer. All right. If this young man grows a mustache, will it uh, increase his chances with women? The North American bushback frog grows elaborate facial extensions. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call a sexual dimorphism and also <laughs> intraspecific competition. You see, the males that grow the larger facial extensions get the chance to mate more. So I would say, yes. <laughs> You're a girl, you should, you should really have some input on this. Yes, I, I, I find... You got tits. Stop! You're making me blush. Okay, as author of archaeological dot 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 exploit subtitle dig it subtitle subtitle exploits in archaeology, I would say yes. Cavemen had these these fantastic mustaches, which which proved to be a great. A uh, pocket or pouch for for sexual exploitation. And, uh, All right, well let's move on. Did the false eleven just turn that up? Oh, not my husband. So let me get this straight. Your question is: Should you grow a mustache to impress women? And I am worst advice. I believe so. Yes. Yes, a mustache will help you meet women. <laughs> Time for one one last question. Um, one last question. Anyone? Come on. Oh. I graduated and I can't get a job. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your question? How do I get a <laughs> job? <laughs> How could this uh, kind kind of shaven young man? <laughs> the blue backed uh, pond frog of Asia Minor. Uh, that's real. <laughs> Has a very interesting uh, life history. You see, the mother frog uh, hunts the ba uh, quite literally hunts the baby frogs out of the lake, and ca causing them to fend for themselves. Most of them are eaten by birds. <laughs> and a few survive to become reproductively viable. That was just an interesting tidbit. I would recommend <laughs> meeting some friends in whatever business you are and, you know, having them help you out. <laughs> okay, so you're looking for a job. Seeing as you are a clean-shaven man, and we've determined that mustaches help in the sexual exploitation, as shown in Chapter 3 of my book, Archaeological, dot, 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 exploit, subtitle, dig it, subtitle, exploits in archaeology, sub, sub, subtitle, digging it, by Karen Lorenzo, I would say that yes. Oh, I get it, dig it, like archaeology. <laughs> Help this young man find a job. Yeah. Well, luckily, Los Angeles is a booming metropolis here in the future. <laughs> and there are plenty of positions open up in the Los Angeles Police Division, particularly for Blade Runners and other members of the police force that might be operating the Voight-Kampf personality test to determine if artificials are in fact artificial. Or, uh, fucking, just temp. 